Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. Just getting the camera set up here. Ah, oh, we made it to Friday. Yay! Almost there to the weekend. Just gotta get through today and then we have a wonderful weekend ahead of us. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Maddie. I am the occupational therapist at Elite Therapy Solutions. I currently work at the Westchester as well as the Coatesville Clinic, and we also do home visits. So for any of your PT or OT needs, feel free to give us a call. I always leave the phone number to our main offices at the ends of these videos. So if you're looking for that, you can wait until the end and you can find the phone number there. So, all right, it's Friday, which means today is balance and core exercises. We're kind of back on a regular schedule. I did want to put this disclaimer into everybody that um, please remember next Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, CASC will not be open. So we will not be having a uh, live exercise class. So if you wanna watch any of the videos that we've done up until this point, because you wanna do your workout on Friday, you can head over to CASC TV exclamation point on YouTube. And we have all the videos that we've recorded up until this point. Uh, so next Friday, you can find a balance and core exercise and fit that into your schedule. So thank you for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. And the lights are going to go off on me the entire time. So we'll just bear with it. As with any exercise program, if at any point during your workout, you begin to feel faint, dizzy, or have any physical discomfort, please stop immediately and consult with a medical professional. All right, guys, let's get started with our warm-up exercise. Let's hope these lights stay on for me. We're gonna start by doing some stretching. So let's take that left arm and reach it across our body. Give it a good stretch. It's gonna be lovely outside today. We're gonna get, I think they said even up to the high 50s, maybe low 60s. It's gonna be very nice. All right, hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch arms. Bring that right arm across, give it a good stretch. My nose is running this morning because it's very cold and I was chasing my roommate's dogs outside <laughs> trying to get them to come in. Good, we're gonna hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stretch out that left tricep, reach it above your head if you can. If you can't, bring it in front of you. Just give that left tricep a good stretch. Good, and let's hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms for me. Stretch out that right tricep. Good, we're gonna hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop those arms down. We're gonna do some neck stretching. So take that right ear, put it down towards that right shoulder. Give the left side of that neck a good stretch. Good, and let's hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Put that left ear towards that left shoulder. Give the right side of that neck a good stretch. My fingers are cold again. Hold for another five, four, three, two, one, good. We're gonna do some neck circles. I like to do five in one direction, five in the other. So you can go either way, but give me five neck circles. Don't make yourself dizzy. One more. Good, go the opposite direction. One more, good, that's five in either direction. All right, let's do some shoulder rolls. I want you to roll your shoulders back. We're gonna do five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll those shoulders forward. And five more, five, 
four, three, two, one. Good. Let's take that right arm, reach it up over the head, stretch out the right side of that body. And let's hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. We're going to switch sides, bring that left arm up over that body. And let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back to middle. We're going to do a quick twist of the, of the mid section here. So go ahead and twist to the side. Give that back a good stretch. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. And let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go to the other side. Good, and let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the middle. We're gonna do some heel raises. Just raise those heels off the ground, keeping those toes on the ground. Kind of pumping those ankles, getting that blood flowing down. Good. Give me five more. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Let's do some toe raises. Keep those heels on the ground. Raise those toes up nice and high. Good. And you're going to give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, folks, we're going to get started with our workout today. Remember, it's balancing core exercises today. So all the exercises that we're going to be doing is going to be helping with those stability muscles that are in our core to help us keep our balance as well as to help keep us upright. So if you have a light weight and you'd like to use it, go ahead and pick it up. You don't have to use a weight, but if you want to add a little more of a challenge, go ahead and pick that up for me. I'm just using these two pounders that I have. All right, we are going to start with our trunk twist. Remember with any of the exercises that we do during balancing core day, you wanna keep that core nice and tight. So we're squeezing those abdominal muscles, sucking that belly button in towards our spine. And we're also sitting up nice and straight. It's always important too. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with our trunk twist. So remember, when we do our trunk twist, our weights come up towards our shoulders. We're going to be twisting at the waist, not at the hips. So we're gonna to twist to the right, back to middle, twist to the left, back to middle. That'll be one, and we're gonna go for 10. You guys ready? All right, pick those weights up for me. Let's twist to the right, twist at that waist, back to middle. Back to middle, that's one. Two. Three. Notice the only thing that's moving is the upper half of my body. I'm not moving those hips at all. That's three. Maybe that's four. I'm already losing count, guys. It's a Friday. I'm gonna count as five. This is what happens when I talk. Six. You guys are gonna be the better judges of knowing how many I'm counting. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good job. All right, drop those weights if you're holding on to them. All right. We're gonna move on to our seated crunches. Remember when we do our seated crunches, you can do it one of two ways, or you can do it however you're comfortable with. But regardless, that elbow and that knee need to meet halfway in the middle. We're squeezing those abdominal muscles when we're doing these two. So instead of laying on the ground to do those crunches, we're in a chair. So we wanna make sure we're really squeezing that core. All right, so I like to link my hands behind my neck, keep my arms up front here. But if you don't want to link them, you can hold on to the shoulders and do it, or you can cross your arms and do it. Either way, whatever's comfortable for you. So I'm going to link my arms behind my neck. We're going for 10 seated crunches. 
Remember, right elbow meets left knee in the middle, and then left elbow meets right knee in the middle. Squeeze those core muscles. All right, guys, we're going for 10. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job. All right, and remember, please only do as many repetitions as you are able to. If you're uncomfortable completing 10, try to get to five or eight, whatever, is, uh, whatever you're able to do, I'm happy with. All right, guys, we're gonna pick those weights back up if you wanna use a weight. We're gonna be doing our side bends. So remember with these, think of like a pendulum. You're coming down on one side, getting a really good stretch to that side, coming back up to middle before moving over to the other side. Remember to keep that nice straight back when you come up to middle and we're squeezing those core muscles as best as we can. All right, we're gonna do 10 side bends. Here we go, over to the right first. Let that arm kind of drag you down. Back to middle and then switch sides. That's one. Notice it's a slow movement. We're not doing these quickly. That's two. Three. Four. Keep it up. Five. Six. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Seven. Go down as far as you can. Eight. Nine, one more each side. Ten, good job guys. Go ahead and drop those weights if you're holding on to them. All right, our next exercise is going to be our opposite toe touches, also known as our high-low reaches. So with this one, I'm gonna stick my left leg out nice and straight in front of me. Heel is on the ground, toes are up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna take my right arm, reach up nice and high like you're reaching for something on the top shelf, coming down diagonally to touch those toes. You should feel a stretch in the back of that hamstring, that leg. If you can't reach the toes, try and reach for maybe the ankle or the shin, whatever you're comfortable going to. But either way, you should feel a nice stretch in that hamstring and you should be squeezing those core muscles too. All right guys, we're gonna do 10 high-low reaches, right arm, left leg, then we will switch and do 10 more, left arm, right leg. All right, here we go, up nice and high, reach down and touch for those toes. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job, go ahead and switch legs. So right leg comes out straight, heel is on the ground, toes are up towards the ceiling. So your foot should look like this in front of you. Left arm comes up nice and high. Reach down and touch those toes 10 more times. Here we go. One. Squeeze those core muscles. Two. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job, shake it out. All right, we're gonna move into one we haven't done in a few weeks. These are our clock arm swings. Now remember with these, we're not gonna do a full clock or we're not doing full arm circles. We're only doing half a clock. So we start with our right arm out in front of us. No weight, just our arms. You're going to swing that arm back as far as you can. Please make sure that there's nothing behind you or nobody behind you. You don't wanna whack them. And you're going to swing it back to the start position. So it's kind of this pendulum swing here, okay? So we're gonna do 10 total on the right, then we'll switch and do 10 total on the left. All right, guys, one arm out in front of us, palm is facing down, swing it back, rotate it back through. Good, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, give that arm a rest. You guys may be thinking, Maddie, why are you making us do clock arm swings? Well, we use our arms to get up from chairs, especially if we've got arms to push off. So we wanna make sure we're working out those arms too, because that'll help us keep our balance, especially when we need to hold on to something to, to catch our balance. All right, moving on to the left arm, 10 clock swings, here we go. As far back as you can and then back through, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job. All right, shake it out a little bit. Our next one is another one we haven't done for a while. These are our cow and cats. If anybody is familiar with yoga, the yoga pose cow is where you kind of arch your back. So, you're not gonna be able to see very well, especially with my, my dark jacket, but I am arching that back, opening up that chest, and then to do cat, you roll those shoulders forward, arch the back in the opposite way, and then we're gonna come back into cow. So, one cow, then cat will be one, and then we're gonna do 10 of those total. So, to start, you wanna sit up nice and straight, my hands are just gonna stay on my knees. You're going to arch that back, open up that chest. Good. Roll those shoulders forward, round that back, tuck that chin. Good, that's one. Arch that back, roll those shoulders back. Roll forward, round that back, tuck that chin. Good, that's two. Roll forward, three, four, five, six, Arch that back, roll forward, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, arch that back, and roll forward. That's 10, good job. All right, one more exercise in this set, then we'll take a little break. 
Go ahead and pick up those weights if you want to use a light weight. We're going to do our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I'm sure you guys have heard of the children's nursery rhyme. So we start with our weights up by our head. We come down to our shoulders. We extend those arms to our knees and we bend forward at the hips to our toes. So we're gonna do that 10 times. Go nice and slow. If you can't get to 10, just do as many as you can. All right, weights up by the head, shoulders, extend those elbows, and down. Good, that's one. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's two. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Three, squeeze those core muscles. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, last one, head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's 10, good job. Take a break, get some water. I filled my water bottle this morning before I left and then left it on the counter. So I'm drinking my protein shake instead. But it is very important to stay hydrated. Please take a, a sip of water, a gulp of water, whatever you need. Gotta stay hydrated during these exercises. All right, I'm gonna give you guys another 15 seconds and then we're gonna start with our trunk twist again. Remember with these, we're bending at the waist, not at the hips. Your lower half of your body should not be moving. You're just moving that upper half if you're twisting, okay? All right, guys, go ahead and pick up those weights if you have a light weight. We're gonna hold them up by our shoulders. We're going for 10 trunk twists. We're gonna rotate to the right first, back to middle, then to the left and back to middle. 10 times. Here we go. That's one. Two. Three, four, squeeze those core muscles, five, six. Also make sure you're keeping that back nice and straight. Don't bend over, seven. Eight. Nine, last one. 10, good job. Go ahead and drop those weights if you're holding on to them. All right, I'm already getting warm. I take my jacket off. All right guys, we're gonna do our seated crunches. Remember, do what's comfortable for you but I'm gonna link my hands behind my neck. My right elbow is going to meet my left knee in the middle. I'm squeezing my core muscles. That's important, these are crunches. You should feel it in those abs. All right guys, 10 seated crunches, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Whew, your abs burning, my abs are burning. All right, go ahead and pick up those light weights again if you want to use a weight. We're gonna do our side bends. Remember with these, these are kind of like pendulums. 
You're just letting it weigh you down and then coming back to middle before going to the other side. All right, guys, 10 side bends. Here we go. Nice slow movements. That's one. Two, also make sure you're breathing during these exercises. Don't hold your breath. Three. Four. Five, make sure you're coming all the way back to center before moving to the other side. Six. Seven. Three more guys, get to as many as you can. Eight. Stretching out that spine. Nine, last one. Ten, good job. Go ahead and drop those weights. All right, we're moving on to our opposite toe touches or our high low reaches, whatever you'd like to call them. So stick that left leg out straight in front of you. Heel is on the ground, toes up towards the sky. Right arm comes up nice and high. You're reaching down diagonally to touch those toes. Squeeze those ab muscles and you'll feel a pull in the back of that hamstring. You can't get to the toes, get to the ankle or the shin and do as many repetitions as you're comfortable with. All right guys, 10 times, right arm, left leg. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good job. Switch legs, switch arms, ten more times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, good job. All right, moving right into the next exercise. We're gonna do our clock arm swings. Remember, this is the one where you're only going half a clock. You're not doing a full clock, just back and forwards. We're gonna go 10 on the right arm and then we'll switch over to the left. Right arm comes out in front of you. Here we go. Swing it back as far as you can, back forward. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. We're going to switch arms. Left arm comes out, ten more. One, Two, don't have as good motion on this side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, good job. Deep breaths, we're moving into the next exercise. 
We're doing our cow and cat. So remember, cow is arching that back, opening those shoulders up nice and wide. Cat is rounding those shoulders, tucking that chin forward. All right, we're doing 10 cows and cats. Here we go. So your cow pose, roll those shoulders back, arch that back. Cat is rolling those shoulders forward, rounding that back and tucking that chin. That's one. Go back into your cow, arch, open those shoulders up, roll them forward, tuck that chin. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And 10. Good job. All right. Last exercise in this set, then we're going to take a little break. Go ahead and pick those weights up. We're going to finish with our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So weights come up to the head. We drop them down to the shoulders, extend those elbows to the knees, bend at the hips to the toes. That's one. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's two. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Three. Good, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine, last one. 10, good job, get a sip of water, take a little break. I'm looking at our time here. We may not be able to get through a full set of the next exercises. I gotta try and stay on track here. I get to talking too much and then lose track of time. So we are currently at 33 minutes of our 45 minute exercise and I wanna leave at least the last five minutes for our cool down. So we will see how many exercises we get through for the next set, but if you're missing out on those exercises, you can always Rewind the video and start over again if you want to get that full set. So remember it's trunk twists, crunches, side bends, toe touches, arm swings, cows and cats, and then head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So we will see how many we can get through before we have to stop and do our cool down. And even if we don't get through all of the exercises, if you've been squeezing those core muscles and keeping that back straight, you should already be feeling it anyway. All right, guys, let's start with our seated trunk twist. Go ahead and pick up those weights. You know the deal, 10 times. Here we go. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 
nine, ten. Good job. Go ahead and drop those weights if you're holding on to them. Moving into our seated crunches. Make sure you squeeze those ab muscles. All right, we're going for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, good job. Whew. All right, pick up those weights if you have them. We're gonna do our side bends. Remember, weights are down at our side. Let's start by going down to the right first. We have a good stretch to the side of that body. Back to middle, down to the other side. Back to middle, good, that's one. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, keep it up, eight, nine, last one. Ten. Good job. Go ahead and drop those weights. All right. Next up is our opposite toe touches or our high-low reaches. So left leg comes out, heel is on the ground, toes up towards the sky. Right arm comes up nice and high. Ten toe touches. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Switch legs. Right leg comes out, left arm comes up nice and high. Ten more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10. Good job, guys. Shake it out a little bit. All right, I think we're going to get through the next exercise and we'll just miss the last two. We're going to do our clock arm swings. So remember, right arm comes up in front of you. Swing it back as far as you can and then back to this midpoint. All right, guys, 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, switch arms. 10 more, here we go. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job. All right, get a sip of water. The only two exercises we're not gonna get to do for, to round out this set is our cows and cats. So remember with our cow, we, oh, excuse me, I had a burp. Roll those shoulders back, arch that back, kind of look up towards the ceiling. And for cat, you're gonna round that back, roll those shoulders forward, tuck that chin. So you can do 10 of those. And then our last exercise that we're not gonna get to is our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And you can use a little light weight for that one. Remember, you're just kind of starting up here, bringing it here to the knees, and then bending at the hips, at the waist, to reach for those toes. All right, guys, hopefully you've gotten a sip of water during all of this talking. So we're gonna go ahead and start our cool down stretches. So go ahead and take that left arm, reach it across your body, and give it a good stretch. It's rare that I can't get through three sets of the exercises, but some days I'm a little more chatty than others. So I think today just happened to be one of them. We're gonna hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch arms. Good, hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. We're going to stretch out that left tricep. Reach it above your head if you can. If not, bring it in front of you. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms for me. Stretch out that right tricep. Good. And hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Good, drop those arms down. Go ahead and take that right ear, put it down towards that right shoulder, stretch out the left side of that neck. Good, hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Left ear towards left shoulder, stretch out the right side of that neck. And we're gonna hold for another five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do some neck circles, go in either direction. One more. Good, go in the opposite direction. One more, good. We're gonna roll those shoulders backwards. So, roll them back. Good, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll them forward. Five more, five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Take that right arm, reach up over that head. Give the side of that body a good stretch. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch arms. Stretch out the other side of that body. And hold this for five. Four, three, two, one. Good, come back to middle. We're gonna do some heel raises. So raise those heels off the ground. Get that blood pumping down towards those feet. Good, three more, two, one. And give me some toe raises. Raise those toes off the ground like you're tapping your feet. Good, and we're gonna do three more. Two, one, good. All right, guys, 
that is going to complete our Friday morning workout. Thank you so much for joining me. It's nice to know that people show up for these things and I'm not just talking to myself. So I do appreciate you being here. If you have any recommendations, please send them over to CASC. We'd be happy to hear your feedback and recommendations. To develop an exercise plan customized for your specific needs, please call 610-594-2060 to consult with a licensed healthcare professional at Elite Therapy Solutions. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I will see you all Monday morning. Bye.